Hello everyone, I am PJ Thapa and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is the first episode of my tutorial series on Microsoft SQL Server 2014 tutorials for beginners. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. So first of all guys, you will need to download the ISO file of Microsoft SQL Server 2014. I have already downloaded uh, the ISO file. Uh, I will provide the link to download it in my description below. So I will show you how to install after downloading the ISO file. First of all, you will need to just open the ISO file by double clicking it on it. Then click on setup.exe. Click on yes. Okay. Then we'll wait for it to install it. It will pop up the installation process now you will see this pop-up screen here in the left side uh, we have to click on installation and click on new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation okay then another pop-up screen will appear so after a few minutes uh, another pop-up screen will appear if you don't have the uh, product key you can just use this evaluation or express edition it is free uh, and there are some features you will not get on this this versions of SQL Server 2014 but I'm using I have a product key so I will just check on enter the product key then click on in, then insert the product key and click on next I will just click on I accept the terms if you do not check on I save the license terms then the next button will not appear after clicking on this checkbox we get the next button we do not need to check on this so I'll click on next then I'll check and use Microsoft update to check the updates then next it will check if my PC is eligible for installing Microsoft SQL Server 2014 or not it will take some time so let's wait so it has successfully checked but this one maximum windows firewall warning so it will not make any problem so click on next okay sql server feature installation or uh, all feature i will just click on all feature because i may need some other some uh, most of the features in sql server 2014 so i will check on this radio button all feature with default then click on next i will just uh, okay okay then i will just click on next then it will take some time if you uh, do not if you haven't installed uh, microsoft.net 3.5 or 3.6 it will cause some error so if that error appears in your screen then you need to download uh, 3, .net 3.5 or .net 3.6 as the message uh, source so so i have already downloaded so i do not have any problem so i will just click on next Okay, I'm going to click on next. Then we'll have to add the user. So my user is BJ Thapa 33, Cyrus BJ Thapa 33. I don't need to add another one. So I will just, I will just uh, leave Windows authentication mode. I will not use this. I will use Windows authentication mode. So I so it's already checked so i will click on next then here we have to add a user i will add add current user then my current user will appear here if you want to add another user you can click on add and add another user so click on next uh, install and configure uh, so i will uh, leave the uh, default settings uh, and click on next uh, again I have to add a user I will add add current user then click on next controller name 
I will give Cyrus. You can give any name, then click on next. Okay, then I'll click on install. Uh, it will install SQL Server 2014 on my PC. I have not uh, got any problems by now. So let's hope it will successfully install uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2014 on my PC. It will take uh, some time, so I'll come back uh, when it's when the installation is completed successfully. So let's go somewhere else. Let's have coffee or something else. So guys, I'm back and our installation is almost complete. So it should be completed by now. So let's wait a few minutes, then we'll good. We'll be good to go. Okay, guys, we have successfully installed Microsoft SQL Server 2014 on our PC. Let's wait for final pop-up screen. This is the final pop-up screen. That's that says complete. Your SQL Server 2014 installation completed successfully with product updates. So let's click and close and check if our SQL Server has install successfully or not and if it's working or not for this I will just go to SQL server SQL server 2014 management studio just I'll just pin to start and pin to taskbar for easy access then click on this icon so it should start without any error so I'll just try to log in if okay. Okay. I'll just have to charge. So I'll just click on connect. So my SQL server is successfully installed and it is connected successfully. Uh, I'll just try to connect it with the local. So I will just type local and connect. So it's connecting with local and Cyrus both. Okay, so this is it guys. We have successfully installed our Microsoft SQL Server 2014 on our PC. So if you have any problem while installing Microsoft SQL Server 2014 on your PC, then don't forget to comment below. If you like this video and would like to see more tutorials on how to create database, create table or insert updated data in Microsoft SQL Server 2014, then don't forget to uh, like and subscribe while well, subscribe don't forget to click on bell icon so you will get notified when i upload my new videos so thanks so much for watching we'll see you soon bye bye